Hi guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. In today's video, which is the seventh video in this playlist, we are going to look at how to link the domain reseller account with our WHMCS using the API so that we can automate features like domain registration, domain transfers on our website. I had already told you in the beginning about the domain reseller API I will be using in this course. Guys, it's not only just applicable in domain reselling but in every aspect which I have showed you, uh, you have an option to choose the same thing from somewhere else according to your preferences. It's not necessary that uh, you have to get everything from where I am getting it. Yes, it's obvious that in this playlist I am sharing uh, the things based on my entire hosting business experience. And believe me, I am trying to explain as open as possible in sharing things with you. If you have follow everything in sequence wise, you will be able to build a very stable and reliable web hosting business for sure. But again, there is a difference between recommendation and compulsion. So I am just recommending the things, the platforms, rest is up to you from where you want to get what. Anyways, I am going to integrate the domain reseller API from reseller club and I will provide the link to this web page in the description. Before you start reselling their domains, all the information you should know about their domain reseller is present on this web page. And believe me, especially in syncing and automation for domain reselling, they are totally unmatched not for other services but only for domain reselling if you does not have a reseller account uh, you can create one however after creating an account you will have to deposit a amount of 20 dollars in your account they have a certain slabs and criteria you can deposit more than 20 dollars as well if you want to get a bit more discount on all tier deals pricing but $20 is the minimum deposit uh, from their base slab without which you won't get the API key However, if you are creating a new account and signing up through my affiliate link provided in the description, you will get the reseller API without depositing the initial deposit amount which is $20. So don't forget to check the description especially if you are creating a new account. Anyways, as you scroll down further, you will find a list of all domains extensions uh, slab wise. This means you will know the cost of each domain extension in each slab. You can see the entire list where everything is mentioned slab wise. I am from India and that's why they have a separate subdomain for uh, my country. This means they direct people through, they redirect people through different countries through different landing pages by tracking their location through geolocation. When you want to see this information the prices will be displayed in your local currency no matter from which country you are visiting from anyways i already have an account so i will log in to my account and directly take you to the dashboard So guys, uh, this is their dashboard and you can see I have, it's my actually in use account. I have already deposited some amount and you can see my available balance is something like five to six dollars. But when you create a new account, you will see all, you will see everything blank. And if you are not signing up through my link, you first need to add funds by clicking here, uh, $20 amount. And after that, you need to click the settings and click API. Now here I get an option view API key. Maybe you get an option uh, in the new account generate API key. So whatever option uh, you find here you need to click that option. But before that you need to whitelist your IP address the server IP. I have already done this part. Uh, you can see that's my same server IP. I have already whitelisted it because uh, as I mentioned it was already uh, in use account and I was already using my production server IP here. So whether you replace any IP with your new IP it takes some time to the for the propagation of that IP. So I simply don't want that delay and it's simply an easy process you just need to paste. You can paste three IPs but one IP is important. Uh, when you are submitting the form 
so i just uh, removed that ip and paste my uh, this server ip and saved my whitelisted ip so after that you need to click this view api key and that would be your api key you can either regenerate by clicking here and now we need to log in to our whm cs admin panel now we simply need to visit the general settings and search here domain and find this option domain registrars now we can find the reseller club option right here and right at the top because this enorm and reseller clubs are their official partners so you can either find this option here and here and once you find you need to click activate and after that you need to mention two things here uh, your reseller id and your api key first let me copy the api api key from here and paste it here and in seller id you will find uh, once you click on this profile icon and just below your email you will find the reseller id you just need to copy the reseller id from here and paste it here after that you need to click save changes and changes saved successfully now again we need to uh, visit the system settings and search domain and this time we need to select this option uh, domain pricing you can see it has detected that you have registrars enabled that support automatic tld and price synchronization no sync has been performed yet so you just need to click here to sync now and it will find the provider uh, which is configured in your whmcs so you just need to select that provider and it will take some time to fetch all the extensions And here you can select your margin type either it is percentage or fixed in my opinion always go with percentage because it's good like it will match the percentage either you including your tax excluding your tax the domain tlds different different tlds so it's good always to choose a percentage and in my opinion select the low percentage because you are selling you are reselling a domain so if you charge more pricing then it would not be good as for your business reputation that it will create a image of your business that you are selling you are not selling cheaper or affordable solutions because your domains are extremely costly as compared to other domain providers so in my opinion always choose between 5 to 10 percentage uh, if you are going uh, for a production environment and this is the rounding option basically uh, you can select the round figure like for example 100.00 or you want to show this like 4.99 so you can always select the rounding option from here now it's asking for a grace period if you enable or disable it's completely optional it simply means you want to sync redemption and grace fee using the using this setting so you can enable this and this is important uh, if you enable this option it will auto register upon payments for uh, synced tlds and from here you can check all tlds from here if you want to import selected tlds or a categorized tlds you can uh, choose the categories from here but in my opinion as more tlds your website offers as more it will look uh, more professional so when we have options why we choose selected options so in my view check all tlds and import all 553 tlds
the following TLDs has been synced and imported successfully. You can see a long list. The same list uh, we get we get it here. Now, if we again visit the domain pricing page. Then you can see we have a long list here. Earlier it was no options here. And we can also alter some specific pricing by clicking here. Like if we click, then we can uh, alter the specific uh, register, transfer and renewal pricing as well. For any TLD if we want. And the automatic registration uh, set to your domain reseller provider. So now if we uh, visit our website. And let's say inside store, if we search a domain name like technical sahil.com, it's a taken domain, but I am just showing here to see it's working perfectly or not, means it's showing us valid results or not. It says the character does not match. This is the worst captcha. I would ever see in the next video first we will change this captcha for sure <laughs> we will integrate google recaptcha but for now let me pass this technical .com is unavailable and it's obvious it's uh, taken by me so let's search technical .net. And you can see, congratulations, technical .net is available. It's 1204.99 INR, the round figure which we set, 0.99. So it's showing us uh, with adding our 10% margin uh, from this uh, pricing. So that way we enable domain registration and domain transfer to our web hosting selling website. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.